Hey friends, okay, so today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you three super easy crock pot meals. These are so great because you just throw everything in the crock pot and within a couple hours, they're ready to go. You have a delicious meal and it didn't take a lot of work and you know how it goes. So um, I have three boys in soccer right now and so I have been loving the crock pot meals because after a busy day, it's the last thing I wanna do is cook. So these are great, just takes a couple hours to like have beforehand and then you have a beautiful yummy meal. So the first recipe that I have for you is chicken gyro. So this is like a Mediterranean meal and I am, I love this meal, it's so fun for the kids and easy, simple to make and so yummy and delicious. All you do is you put the chicken in the, the crock pot and I have six different chicken breasts in here. This is a meal that I love putting together. I love putting a lot of it in here and I can always use it for a second night or I can freeze it and just like have it for another night totally. So this is great. I usually, depending on the size of the chicken breast, I will have, if it's a large chicken breast, I will have it for two people because you'll be shredding it up. So it's not a full chicken breast per person usually. Um, but anyway, so the, I have six chicken breasts in here. You can go ahead and use three or four, whatever you want. Um, and then on top of this, you'll add the sauce. So I'll show you what is in the sauce. So what you'll need for the sauce is you'll want Marrakesh Tazar. And if you don't have that, you can just use oregano. You can use either one. Allspice, uh, two lemons, and then one cup of chicken broth, some garlic. I use this because it just makes everything so much easier. Uh, salt and pepper, and then a little bit of red wine vinegar. So that's kind of what is in the sauce. So you'll get a bowl and you'll just start adding everything. So I'll just add a cup of chicken broth. That's the first thing you'll want to do. And then I have lemons here. And so you'll just wanna do two lemons, just squeeze it right in there and that will be a part of the sauce. Is anybody else here obsessed with Greek food? I just love the flavor of Greek food so much. So after this is done, you're gonna just wanna put everything in like a pita, a big pita shell, and it's kind of like a taco. You'll just put the everything in it, all the fixings. I'll kind of show you how to do that next. But this is a um, super flavorful meal, especially for little kids because of the lemons. I feel like it really adds some, some good flavor. I feel like anything with lemon, I have noticed that I love it. So anyway, so you'll add that. And then actually before you cut it, you will want to take um, the lemon peel of one. So just very lightly, this gives it a really good lemony flavor. Um, anything with lemon peel, you don't wanna get the white part because that's pretty bitter, but the lemon peel is where like so much of the flavor is. So when you put it in a crock pot, it's nice because it kind of all gets in there together. It's so good. All right, then you'll want to add two tablespoons of red wine vinegar, and you just put that in there as well. Super easy, just put that in. All right, you want to add three garlic cloves as well to it. Very easy. So this might seem like an interesting thing, but it really adds a little bit of flavor, so allspice. So you'll add just a fourth of a teaspoon of allspice, and that just kind of gives it a really interesting flavor. And then you'll want one teaspoon of Marrakesha Zatar, there we go, um, or oregano. Either one should be totally fine. This is kind of a Mediterranean flavor that you uh, will put over the chicken. You'll add one teaspoon of salt. And if you're using sea salt, it doesn't have as much flavor, so you might want to add a little bit more. If you're just using regular table salt, one teaspoon should be enough for this recipe. And then you'll just kind of mix it, and that's your sauce. So you'll, it'll kind of like sit in there, marinate in there, and then when it's all done, so you'll cook this for about three to four hours, kind of depending on your crock pot. Um, if it's on low, you might want to do it for three hours. If it's on high, two. But you'll want to check. So when the, the breast just kind of falls apart, so these are chicken breasts, and if it just kind of falls apart when you are pulling them apart with two forks, then it is ready to go. You don't want to overdo it or it's going to be really tough. So it is kind of one of those things you want to get it pretty, pretty good. 
Um, and every crock pot I've noticed is very different. I am super excited because we have soccer tonight. This will be perfect for when we get home from soccer. I'll show you what it looks like and how we kind of build upon it. Okay, so this smells so good. I cannot wait to eat this with my family tonight. But pretty much what you do is you just take two forks and you shred up the chicken, pretty small. And, or if you want, you can put it, if you have a kitchen aid, you can put it in there and just blend it up and it shreds it really, really easily too. So that's two ways to shred it up. And then what you do is you take all the fixings. So the fixings are are so fun so you can kind of mix and match whatever you want but pretty much what you want is some pita bread so I have this pita bread and you'll make a taco out of it so this one there's no like pocket to it so you'll just bend it and it'll become a taco um, so it's kind of like a Mediterranean taco it's so good so get some pita bread so then what you want to do is cut up the veggies so you can cut up a red onion I like to cut them really thin but they add a lot of flavor to this dish also you can cut up some cucumbers and that adds a lot of flavor and crunch to this meal as well tomatoes just dice those up put them in, you can put these all in like a little dish and everyone can kind of build their own if that works for you and of course you, you can make tzatziki sauce but I always buy mine at the store my kids love this one and so you just put that on you can also add feta on top of it and lettuce so you just kind of build it however you want I always have a side lettuce as well um, like a side salad with a, like Mediterranean you know dressing on it and so it's like the perfect meal everybody loves it all right there you have it I already ate a bite and it is so good so so good I will say our pita bread kind of falls apart so you might need a knife and a fork that's okay um but it tastes delicious I think that tzatziki sauce really adds to it too and the meat is just like perfection it has so much flavor in it I hope that you enjoyed. If you want the link, um, you can print out the recipe. I'll put the link down below. Let's head to the next recipe. All right, this next recipe is chili. I absolutely love chili because it is super easy to make. It is really fail proof. Like it is impossible to mess up chili. So you can have so many different variations. It tastes so good. It is like the perfect cozy meal. And so actually a fun fact, chili was the very first recipe that I ever made. And it was really fun. I realized that I could make my own recipes. And that's kind of how it all got started was with chili because chili is so forgiving. Um, I made my first recipe was a vegetable ch chili and it was so good and I really so chili always has chili powder in it and cumin that's like the main two things in most chilies and I've noticed that a lot of vegetables are hidden so you can like put in tons of vegetables in chili just chop it up pretty small and add it into your chili and then you're feeding your family a nice healthy meal and so anyway I'm gonna show you what my recipe is and I will have printouts if you want to print it out if it looks good but the first thing that you'll need is two pounds of ground beef with an onion so one full onion and you'll just put the onion in and then you'll brown the ground beef in a pan so there is a little bit of cooking with it but it's worth it because once everything is inside the crock pot you just let it go and it tastes so good and amazing when it's done so let me get the ground beef i already have that done let me get that and pour it in my crock pot Okay, now if you have a smaller crock pot, you might wanna like cut this in half because this actually feeds our family and another family. So I'll make this a lot for like families that I'm cooking for as well. I'll just kind of double the recipe. And this one is chocked full of protein because not only is there ground beef in it as usual, but there's beans. So I'll put three cans of any type of beans that you want. Obviously like not baked beans or anything like that with flavor, but like pinto beans, navy beans, black beans. I usually use black beans because they hide really well. Um, sometimes kidney beans, I have kidney beans as well, but they are a little more tougher. So the kids don't necessarily love kidney beans. So usually I'll use pinto, black beans, or I have navy beans instead of black beans today. So these are the three that I'm, so any three, I already did this, but you'll wanna make sure you rinse out all the beans. So I already rinsed them and put them back in here. So, so just put that in. 
Then you'll take a teaspoon and a half and you'll just put it right in there. This is a half a teaspoon, so I'm doing three of them. All right, so then I'll put two, two tablespoons of chili powder. So I just love chili powder, so I could eat so much. Like I love Tex-Mex food so much. And then cumin, I only do one tablespoon of cumin, even though you could go heavy on the cumin as well, but I've noticed one is enough. So one teaspoon of garlic powder and one teaspoon of onion powder. All right, then you'll take two green chilies and you'll, they're little, I use the mild, you might wanna do spicy if your family likes spicy, but I do the mild, so two little cans. These are the four ounce. And so just put those in, cause that kind of gives it a nice chili flavor as well. Okay, so the hot topic in my family is tomatoes. My family does not like diced tomatoes, but they are fine with crushed tomatoes. So I will put a whole can of crushed tomatoes. Depends if you like tomatoes. You can go either a 24 ounce or you could go less with just like a littler can. That works too. But um, for this recipe, I'm gonna use the whole big can. Since you're using ground beef, you'll always wanna use the same type of broth with it. So this is the beef broth. And so I'll add one cup of beef broth. That will just kind of keep everything pretty moist. All right, and then this is my secret ingredient, is one tablespoon of brown sugar. And what the brown sugar does, I've noticed, is it just really cuts the acid from the tomatoes. And they kind of like just marry each other, I feel like. And it's so good, and it's not a lot, like you can barely tell, but I love it um, in this chili. So that's something that you can add to it. Now at this point, you can either be done or you can add vegetables. So you can either add one to three cups of vegetables to this. The only thing is if you add vegetables, you'll want to add another cup of broth because that's going to seep into the vegetables. And so what I'll use, I will cut up carrots really small. I'll cut up zucchini. I will cut up bell peppers, really anything. You can also use potatoes such as sweet potatoes or purple potatoes are actually really good too. And they have so much antioxidants in them. So if you're trying to get the nutrients in your kids, this is the, the meal to do that because it hides all of the veggies because of the chili powder. So, and the, the cumin. So. Anyway, at this point, that's where you'd wanna do that. As far as the veggies go, I will usually make this meal like on a Saturday, usually football day, and we'll have some chili so we can all watch football or soccer games. And then I add all the veggies that I haven't used that week. So I haven't used my spinach yet. So I, as you can see, I have a ton of spinach. I've noticed I can't just throw it in there though. I actually have to cut it up. Otherwise the texture's not right and it kind of throws off the whole chili. So all you have to do is just kind of slice it like you would lettuce. Um, so I just kind of round it up and I just kind of make it into smaller pieces. And then you just throw it in and your kids are getting spinach or whatever it is if you're doing carrots. So some of the sides that you might want to have with the chili is I'll have I'll make cornbread sometimes. I will also um, have rice. So a family I stayed with in Hawaii, I lived with them. They had white rice that they would put under the chili and then the chili would go on top. So a bed of rice and then chili. And that filled up the kids a lot. They had six kids. So it just filled everybody up a lot more. And beans and rice together make a whole protein. So that's kind of cool too. You're getting extra protein even from adding rice. So anyway, I'm gonna put this in, stir it all up, put it, put it on low and slow for about three to four hours and it will be ready to go for dinner time. Give me love, give me all your love, oh cause I want you. All right, salsa verde chicken is the last recipe I have. I love this recipe because it is super quick. I double the recipe. I usually always double the recipe so that I can just freeze it or give it to another family. If I'm cooking, you know, if one of my friends has a baby, I will always make a meal for them, bring them a meal, and this is a really good one. So this is great because it's chicken, salsa verde, it's Tex-Mex, love it. Um, Our Lady of Guadalupe's feast day is coming up on December 12th, and so you can always make something like this, like salsa verde tacos, and celebrate that way, some kind of Tex-Mex food. 
So once you have the chicken in the crock pot, all you'll need is salt. So I use about a teaspoon and a half of salt and that gives it a good flavor. And then cumin. So what I'll do is I'll use a tablespoon of cumin and that just adds kind of the smokiness to this dish. And so you'll just kind of put it all over. And then what I do just with the spices is I'll kind of move the chicken around just a little bit just so that it all kind of gets a little bit of the salt on it and the cumin. All right, once that is all coated with the cumin and the salt, you'll want to add the green enchilada sauce. So one can of green enchilada sauce and then one mild can of chili and you'll just put both of them, dump them right in. And then one can of chili, just put that in as well. And then just one cup of chicken broth. And then that is it. So that's all you need, just low and slow for three to four hours. And it's really that easy. It is so delicious and good. I'll show you when it's done. Three hours later, your salsa verde chicken is all ready. So I just put mine on a flour tortilla and then I put some guacamole on mine and some red onion and tomatoes. And so that is how you make it. You can always put this on nachos. If you wanna make nachos, this is really good. You can also put this on white rice. That works too. Really anything. This tastes so good and tasty. And so that is what I have for you today, uh, my three crock pot meals. I hope that you enjoyed. And until next time, I will see you all later. God bless. Bye.